Hello, my name's Liam Bastic. I work at Some Product, and today I'm going to show you a really cool trick referencing every nth row. And guess what? I'm going to do it in five minutes or less. Here's something I prepared earlier. I've got some data here all going down one column. It doesn't have to be down one column, it just has to be in a logical pattern that you can identify what the pattern is. In this case, this might come from a credit card statement, it might come from a management information system or a, a ledger system, whatever. And what I've got is on my first row of the block, I have the name, then I have the amount owing to me, then I have a blank row, then name, amount owing to me, and so on. So the names are every three rows, the amounts are every three rows, and so on and so forth. What I want to do is populate this table so I get the name in here and the amount here. Simple as that. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, because these references are every three rows apart, this is actually a little bit awkward, and you end up using things like VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH, LOOKUP, OFFSET FUNCTIONS, and plenty of other things. But you know what? I'm a firm believer in the school of keep it simple stupid, and I'm going to show you a really simple, neat trick that you might not think of otherwise. Let me explain. It's very, very simple. There has to be a logical pattern. So what I do is I put the first name in here here equals another, get it, another, and then we've got equals beehive, and yes, I could go and do the rest, and this doesn't seem to be much of a cool trick, Liam. Ah, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and edit these two formulas. I'm going to put an apostrophe in front of that one, so it comes up as text as equal b3, and in front of this one as well. Now, the idea is quite simple. You've probably seen this all the time in Excel anyway. If I take the numbers 3 and 6 here, and I just drag it down using autofill, it notices the sequence and keeps adding 3. So it goes 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. Amazing! Yeah, you're with me? This is what I'm going to do with the cell references. I'm going to take these and drag them down for the 26 rows, which coincidentally I have in my formatted table. Brilliant! Now, each one of those has got an apostrophe in front of them, which is how I've got this and applied this trick. So we've now got B3, B6, B9, etc. All I need to do is get rid of the apostrophe. Right, find and replace. Control H is the keyboard shortcut, or you can click on the Home tab and find Select. Go to Replace here. And I want to actually take the apostrophe, which I've already put in, and replace it with nothing. And just go Replace All. And it gives me this error message here. We couldn't find anything to replace. Click Options for more ways to search. For your information, it's possible the data you're trying to replace is in a protected sheet. Well, it isn't any of that. It's the fact it gets confused by apostrophes because of the fact it converts it to a text in a way. It stores its text. It's a special character. So unfortunately, find and replace does not work. But there is a feature in Excel that will do this. And guess what? It's not what you think. And this is why this is such a cool trick, because most people, it doesn't occur to them. You can only do this one row or one column at a time. Well, in fact, actually, you can only do it one column at a time. Uh, this won't work on rows. And there's your clue. I go to the Data tab, and I click on the button text to columns, which you may or may not have used before for splitting data up across columns. Do you know what? I don't want any of this. All I do is click that button, and guess what? I just hit finish. Uh, like the Danish, I hate the finish. No, it's just a joke here, but finish gets rid of the apostrophe, and I've got all the names in. How cool is that? So just to reiterate, to get the amounts in as well, I'll just do this one. I'll then just go here, equals, and click on this. I simply put an apostrophe in front of both of them and then because I've already got some data down this one I can just uh, double click on autofill to take it down with that highlighted just go back to text to columns and just hit finish again done in seconds did it occur to you hope you found that useful cool trick I think um, if you enjoyed that my name is Liam Bastic if you didn't my name's Tim Heng Check out our other videos and our other material as the information shows you here. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.